hi all welcome back to my channel so today we are going to learn uh, the storage event triggers in the area of how we can create it and what is the use of the storage event triggers what are the storage event triggers an earlier session if you can see we have created uh, the manual we have seen how we can run our pipeline using the manual trigger how we can create the schedule triggers what are the schedule triggers what are the different ways by which we can schedule over pipeline using the uh, multiple occurrence in a day multiple occurrence or a single occurrence in a week and a day or uh, in a month like that we have seen uh, how we can attach the our pipeline single pipeline or multiple pipeline to the triggers so we have a many to many relationship in the schedule trigger in today's session we will understand what are the storage type events storage event triggers so as the name suggests it is the kind of a event trigger so in the event triggers we have two categories you can see the storage event triggers and the custom event triggers so we will cover the sto uh, storage event triggers so when we say event triggers means that you have to trigger your pipeline on the basis of some event occur in your storage so that is the simple definition of your storage event triggers so triggers means which will trigger which will execute your pipeline okay on the basis of when it uh, this is this is means the trigger which execute your pipeline on the basis of some scheduled time and this means that you wanted to execute your pipeline on the basis of some event now what kind of event the storage event storage events means that arrival or deletion of any of the file in your storage account if any files arrive in your blob storage and the same moment you wanted your ad of pipeline to execute that is the storage event trigger if you wanted that any files got deleted in case if my file got deleted at the same time that event will be captured by adf and it execute my pipeline so that is a storage event trigger okay instead of storage event if you wanted to some write some custom event or something like that in that case custom event trigger will use okay so uh, let's go to the demonstration here you can see my home store uh, home of uh, portal portal uh, home uh, uh, interface and i have opened my storage account and as well as the adf uh, data factory to do, uh, this uh, studio in storage i'll show you what happen in this is the blob storage okay if i go to the container i have already created a pipeline which is moving my file which is copying my file from the input folder to the output folder okay the same thing which i have used the same pipeline which i have used in the previous session for the schedule trigger so if you can see here i have three files so let me do one thing let me remove all the files from here so what i'm trying to show you as soon as i upload one file my pipeline should trigger using the storage event trigger so i'll go to my data factory instance here i have created one pipeline which is doing that fact i have two data sets one data sets for the destination output folder one data sets for the storage source this uh, uh, for this input folder connected to the input folder and this is the pipeline which is copying my file from blob storage input folder to output folder this way we have i have already uh, done this thing so that to save uh, your time and here if you can see as i in the previous session i said that if you wanted to create any type of the triggers be it schedule be it storage or be it tumbling this is an option from where you can create a trigger so this is uh, if you click on this this is a manual trigger if you click on this then it will give you an interface to create a trigger so let me click on new and add it and here if you have already created a trigger using your manage tab then you can choose here earlier uh, i use this one right the new icon to create a trigger from here in this session i will show you the second method go to the manage create a new trigger so let me give this name as storage event okay storage event uh, something is i'm uh, okay spelling storage event and see you have to choose your type type should be storage event so what i'm uh, what it is asking from the uh, you have to choose your subscription that is fine choose your storage account and this is my storage account i have already uh, only one storage account if you see blog storage this is the name of uh, blob storage tutorial is the name of my blob storage and here i need to give my container name okay so if you uh, you if you are uh, little bit confused about what is the naming convention i need to provide you can always click on this icon okay here you can give um, the microsoft has given an idea like how you can create 
give the uh, syntax of your uh, container name so it, it is saying that it should be like slash then container name then slash so that means our container name is input okay what we wanted we wanted like in input folder whenever any files will move or any files is uploaded the same moment i wanted my triggers to uh, active and uh, my trigger will uh, execute the pipeline so i give this name and it is uh, it is asking block path begins with so if you see here block path must begin with a path for example this if this is the uh, the path of your files okay suppose in input folder you have the uh, you have a year wise folder 2018 2019 2020 like that you have multiple folders inside that your files has been uploaded so in that case you have to give the fully qualified uh, like this and if you have a subfolders then you can use it but i don't have any subfolders inside the input i am directly uploading my file so i'll keep it as blank blob path ends with with you can see if you can a mouse over here if it, it, it is saying that either you can give the complete file name or you can give the extension file extension blob path must end in the file name or extension so my file extension is dot csv so whenever the dot csv file is uploaded then only this will trigger this storage event trigger will make my pipeline execute if txt file i upload okay then it will not work because i have given a uh, block path ends with dot csv now it is asking me at what trigger at what event you wanted to uh, schedule your uh, you wanted to create your storage event trigger when the blob is created or when the blob is deleted when this option says whenever the file will come then it will execute or whenever you delete the file then it will so what i'm going to do i'll do both okay at uh, both things like if i upload the files i also wanted to execute my pipeline and if i delete the same file then also i wanted to execute this pipeline so in that case you you'll do both the things okay so here ignore empty blobs so this is an option that sometimes what happen we have no files inside the folder even uh, uh, you wanted to trigger so no we don't want to trigger the uh, that uh, pipeline we don't want to execute the pipeline or uh, using this uh, trigger if i do not have any files in the folder so in that case you can make it as yes okay and this option the last option that the as soon as the trigger is uh, created you wanted to enable it you wanted to execute the pipeline uh, then you wanted to uh, then in that case you have to check it or you can leave it as blank so what i'm going uh, last time i created uh, i checked this in the schedule trigger this time i will make it as unchecked and we will check it later on so click on continue so this if you can see it will check for the input folder any block which is matched with your uh, container name it will take some time okay uh, let's go back i think something we have to uh, make changes in the starts with so go back and here if you see what we need to do we need to input as we don't have so this is uh, my subfolder if you can see i wanted to like this let me click on okay and let's wait for a couple of seconds to see our blob will be matched it should uh, it should match with our input folder it will check one block and then uh, we are good to go and we can click on okay so let's wait for a couple of seconds so i think you and uh, you got my point right how we can create the storage event we have to provide the container name where your file will be moved which type of the file is being moved when you wanted to execute your pipeline so i wanted to uh, execute my pipeline whenever the any file with dot csv extension will be loaded to my container name input okay it is not taking any uh, blob matched because i got the issue because in our input folder we don't have any blob any file is there so let me upload one sample file then it will be able to catch uh, will be able to read the one blob from my folder okay so let me uh, upload the cust data dot csv file in my input folder the file is been loaded okay and let's wait and go to the data factory and now refresh it go to back 
and I let me click on OK continue. Auto input, we have this file. So this is stop if you see, okay. This because we have not checked on that option. I'll show you again. See in this side. See this is stop. Okay. And if you wanted to make it start, then this is started. Okay. Now you want you have created like we have created a storage event, but we have not linked it to any pipeline. So what I'm going to do? Uh, first of all, we have to publish your trigger. Okay, so we are getting one validation of the model is fixed is we cannot be activated and contains no pipeline. Okay, fail to publish the changes because the validation error. So we have to fix the validation error first. Okay, that is fine. We have to go there. Okay, and we have to see what is the issue. Okay, select this. Go to, okay, so one block should be come here, should come. Then only it will be allowed us to detach, uh, to attach our pipeline to the trigger, storage event triggers. Let's see. See, uh, <clears throat> here uh, we got one blob matched in input. So the problem is uh, this is the validation error. Earlier it was not coming. Okay, uh, you can refresh it and you can get the blob. So what happened? We have uh, uh, deleted all the files from our input folder earlier, and we try to create our storage event, and it is trying to find one blob, at least one file available in input folder. Then only it will. Uh, uh, that, that then only it will be enabled. So that is the problem uh, uh, we were facing. Uh, there, there is one more thing that what we can do is uh, in case if your blob is not uh, your pipeline, uh, sorry, whenever you created uh, this uh, trigger and you are not able blobs matched in the input folder, what you can do, you can refresh your storage account, okay? And you can refresh your ADF data factory triggers part as well. You can go back. You can go back and refresh it and then it will uh, and click on continue and come back here. Then you can find this uh, one blob or one file which is available in input folder. Now it is fine. You can click on OK. Now the validation will be shorted out. Validation error will be shorted out. And here you can see the trigger is stopped. Okay, let me start the trigger. But you can see the zero. That means this trigger is not connected to any pipeline. First of all, Let's publish this uh, storage event trigger. Cannot be activated. Okay. It is saying that your file, you cannot activate your, you cannot publish your uh, storage event trigger, any uh, trigger if it is not connected to any of the pipeline. Okay. Because the, this is, uh, this is just merely a trigger, but until and unless it is not connected to any pipeline, you cannot go ahead and publish it. So what you can do, go to your author tab and I wanted to attach this pipeline with that trigger. So what you can do, just select, click on the triggers, go to new and added and here you can choose the trigger which has already been created, which we have created. Okay. So you can choose it and you can uh, just click on continue. Okay. See one blob matched, click on continue. This pipeline has no parameters. So if you can see here, now I can get the number two. So this pipeline, okay, this pipeline is uh, uh, is getting, uh, you know, trigger using the storage event as well as the schedule trigger. So the, uh, so we can say the two pipeline, uh, two trigger is attached to the pipeline. If you go back to the manage and you can see now the related is one. That means this trigger is attached to the your pipeline. If you wanted to see it, okay, which pipeline is connected to. So this is the same pipeline which we have seen copy blob input to output. So this is the pipeline which is connected. Go back to your author. Now you, you, you have to publish it. Now click on publish and it will not give you any any validation error because earlier we got a validation error because it is not connected to, to any pipeline. So that is the problem. So we can see the publishing. You can see the notification here our uh, storage event is been is publishing and the definition of the storage event trigger is being saved into our live data factory so it is completed that is fine now we have to test it okay 
so whenever uh, uh, where we can check we go to the monitor tab and see the logs here you can see earlier we have this all this trigger schedule trigger i have uh, scheduled this pipeline for every 3 minutes that's why it is taking uh, you can see in every 3 minutes in my last session i have shown it so that's why it is executing i'll do one thing i'll go ahead and stop my trigger um, this one so that i can show you the storage event trigger go here and uh, i need to publish it otherwise the definition is not saved in the data factory so just publish the storage uh, uh, schedule trigger that i'm going i have stopped it so right now only storage event will be active just wait for a couple of second and it is going yeah publish complete if you see now go to the monitor and now we can see my pipeline will be executed using the storage event and when it will be executed when we push or move or upload sorry not move uh, when we upload a new app, uh, files into my input folder okay so let me go ahead and go to my storage there is an option of upload i should select i will select one file that is a csv file if you see comma separated file click on open and the moment i upload it okay let me upload it complete it go back to here and i refresh my monitor tab see my pipeline executed and it got executed using my storage event trigger so you can see here it is triggered by my storage event because i have just now i have created the storage event and the storage event i said that whenever the file will be loaded into my input folder i want my pipeline to be executed so here if you can see it is an in progress status let me refresh it again and it is succeeded okay so this way we can create our storage event and make it uh, work so if and let me see if i delete one okay let me delete one block and go to data factory and refresh it uh, in the pipeline okay see here in when the blob is created it executed okay when the blob is deleted that means file is deleted it again executed because uh, i have chosen the both option in the storage event whenever the blob created whenever the blob deleted in the input folder i want my pipeline to run so both thing is happening here if you can see in the monitor tab let me refresh it i think it will be succeeded see so it it got succeeded okay so this way you can create the storage event okay and make your pipeline Uh, execute whenever the blob or whenever the file will be loaded to your in uh, to your storage account container okay so this way you can create your schedule trigger you can create your storage uh, event trigger and make your pipeline one make your pipeline run on the basis of your events on the basis of your uh, window time triggers in the case of schedule trigger so i hope you uh, your concept will be clear now and uh, you are now very much aware like what is the difference between the schedule trigger and what is the difference uh between the schedule trigger and the storage event trigger so hope you are um, uh, if you in case if you have any questions okay be free uh, feel free to uh, type in the comment section i will be happy to um, solve your queries thank you and have a nice day